Are you more often sad than happy in your marriage? Are you tired of the conflict, stress, and the heartache? Have you exhausted the catchphrase, marriage is supposed to make you holy, not happy? Do you want to get off the rewarded cycle because you've discovered that after spinning your wheels for years inside of that cliche, you feel more unloved and lonely than ever? Have you emotionally flatlined and you're ready to give up in spite of counseling and having read all the books on being the most excellent wife that you can be? After all these years, you understand what marriage is supposed to look like, yet there's just more isolation and disconnection. If that sounds like your marriage, you've come to the right spot. Hi there, my name is Lillian, and here I talk about God and the femininity that he created you with, and how that femininity can heal you, give you back your life, and possibly the marriage you've always hoped for. There's a caveat though. As you grow and your femininity shines brighter and you get stronger in the Lord, a true believing brother will love who you're becoming. But a wolf in sheep's clothing will hate your new sense of self. As God regenerates your heart to be the daughter that he always meant for you to be, the wolf will make your marriage worse. Are you being breadcrumbed in your marriage? You're either being breadcrumbed or cleaved to. Masculinity is doing one or the other to your femininity. The experience in your marriage will be very different depending on whether you're being cleaved to or fed breadcrumbs. It's how you feel inside your inner girl. Do you feel isolated and lonely in your marriage or connected and cherished? Do you feel neglected and ignored or seen and heard? Are you receiving masculine attention and contribution? Do you feel needy and desperate? Or are you experiencing that connection and affection and like a constant continual friendship with him? The main difference between breadcrumbing and cleaving is consistency. But before that, you can't make him cleave if he's breadcrumbing you. So don't think you can change a husband. He changes himself, you don't change him. Now, that might sound like semantics, but there's a difference between training a man how to love you and teaching him like he's a child. We don't tell him what to do. We don't teach grown men by telling them what to do. Um, that's what we do with young children. We train them by teaching them because they aren't adults. Whether he breadcrumbs or cleaves to you, which is his choice, remember? They both have consequences. Your husband does have the free choice whether he wants to do the work of cleaving or if he wants to just schleff off and breadcrumb. But what he doesn't get to do is choose different consequences. Nobody in life gets to choose a different consequence other than what is the reality of their choice. Men get the results of what they work for, right? A man does good, then feels good. He's external towards internal. A woman is the opposite. She feels good internally first, and then it's external. She feels good, then does good. It's dangerous to your femininity to respond to a man that's breadcrumbing as though he's cleaving. You're the Ezer Neged. That's who God created you as. You're a mirror that's positionally in front of him all the time. You've got to reflect reality in truth and love back to him. If you don't, it's not just dangerous to you and you're lying to your husband, but it's disingenuous to God because you're not doing the very thing he created you to do in marriage. I have a video about the Ezer Neged. I will post it in the description box. So what does cleaving feel like? Well, it's consistent. What does your husband's cleaving feel like? There's healthy consistency and toxic consistency, which is the breadcrumbing. A toxic consistency would look something like when he wants sex. So let's say he wants sex twice a week. So he consistently cleaves to you twice a week. 
Hi there, this is Editing Lillian. I wanted to pop in here and clarify that I don't mean that a man wanting sex is toxic. I mean that sex is one of the easiest places to see the difference between cleaving and breadcrumbing. It is consistent, but it's toxic to your femininity because it consistently benefits only him, not you, for you. It's intermittent reinforcement. That's what you're experiencing. He's cleaving to get something. He's giving to get. He's technically buying sex from you with fake connection and affection. What breadcrumbs have you accepted? What toxic consistency have you been told to accept? Let's say you know you need a connection value of seven in your relationships. And he knows this because you've talked about it probably on more than one occasion. So he shows up from work on Friday and you've had no connection or friendship all week. It's zero. There is no connection value of seven. But he tries to take all the cleaving that he should have been doing all along and tries to squish it into a half hour right after the kids are put to sleep. Do you accept that? Would you be honoring God with your femininity? Or is that people pleasing and enabling laziness in your brother in Christ? What you're doing by accepting those breadcrumbs, that toxic consistency is you're training him to shoot lower than what you know your value is. The worst marriage mindset I ever heard was reward his effort. It doesn't matter how low. I don't buy that. Men are not stupid. They might need training about femininity, but that doesn't mean they're not capable of striving higher. Good grief. That's the design of masculinity. Don't reward breadcrumbs like you're in a true relationship. It doesn't honor God. That's why you get less and less interested in sex as time has gone on. Your husband has taken what he owes, your femininity and marriage. That's your feminine due benevolence, right? 1 Corinthians 7, 3, and he's systematically eliminated it by turning your sexuality into a duty or obligation within the hierarchical role of wife, while at the same time satiating his own masculinity. He's blended the two to his advantage.